फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट आर यूएसपी जनरल चैप्टर रेफर फॉर वेइंग बैलेंसेस तो आंसर इज देर आर टू यूएसपी जनरल चैप्टर्स दैट आर रेफर्ड फॉर वेइंग बैलेंसेस फर्स्ट इज यूएसपी फोर्टी वन बैलेंसेस एंड सेकेंड इज यूएसपी वन टू फाइव वन वेइंग ऑन एनालिटिकल बैलेंसेस नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट आर द कैलिब्रेशन पैरामीटर्स हैज पर यूएसपी वन टू फाइव वन फॉर वेइंग बैलेंस सो कैलिब्रेशन पैरामीटर्स एज पर यूएसपी वन टू फाइव वन आर फर्स्ट सेंसिटिविटी सेकेंड इसेंट्रिसिटी थर्ड लिनियरिटी फोर्थ रिपीटेबिलिटी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट आर द बैलेंस कैलिब्रेशन पैरामीटर्स हैज पर यूएसपी फोर्टी वन बैलेंसेस so the balance calibration parameters as per usp 41 balances are first is repeatability second is accuracy next question where we should install weighing balances following points should be considered while installing weighing balances first that should be hard surface with no or minimum vibrations second there should be even platform and it should allow leveling of balance third there should not be any direct flow towards weighing platform because it may cause fluctuations in the readings next question why repeatability test is performed so answer is a repeatability test is performed to check the ability of the weighing balance to give the same results for the same object under the same conditions every time next question what is the formula to calculate repeatability calculation so formula to calculate repeatability test is repeatability is equal to 2 into sd that is standard deviation divided by smallest net weight into 100 next question what is the smallest net weight so answer is smallest net weight means the minimum weight below which weighing is not acceptable for example if you have calculated smallest net weight as 20 mg then you should not weigh any material below 20 mg next question what is the formula to calculate smallest net weight formula to calculate is smallest net weight is equal to 2000 into sd this sd that is standard deviation value will be taken from the repeatability test where we take 10 measurements of test weight when sd value is less than 0.41d then formula for smallest net weight becomes 2000 into 0.41d next question what is d in the formula smallest net weight snw is equal to 2000 into 0.41d so in this formula d is called as scale interval or readability which means the least value that your balance can read next question how accuracy test is performed for weighing balance so answer is to perform accuracy test single test weight is selected between 5 to 100 percentage capacity of balance and its weight is measured formula to calculate accuracy test is accuracy is equal to certificate weight minus observed weight divided by certificate weight into 100 next question what is the acceptance limit for accuracy test so answer is acceptance limit for accuracy test is not more than 0.10 percentage next question how much test weight should be taken to perform sensitivity test so answer is weight close to the balance capacity is taken as test weight to perform sensitivity test 
For example, if balance weighing capacity is 220 gram, then you can take 200 gram weight as test weight to perform sensitivity test. Next question, what is the acceptance limit and formula to calculate sensitivity test? So answer is limit for sensitivity test is not more than 0.05 percentage and formula to calculate sensitivity is sensitivity is equal to certificate weight minus observed weight divided by certificate weight into 100. Next question, what is eccentricity test for weighing balance and how it is performed? For eccentricity test, weight more than 30% of the balance capacity is selected and placed at center and all corners of weighing pen to check eccentricity. As you can see in the figure, five weights are taken. First, we placed the weight at center at position number one. Then we place the weight at each corners of the pen at position number two, three, four and five. Formula to calculate eccentricity. Eccentricity is equal to weight at the center minus weight at corner divided by weight at center into 100. Next question, what is the acceptance limit for eccentricity test? The answer is acceptance limit for eccentricity test is not more than 0.05 percentage. Next question, what is air bubble adjustment and why it is done? The answer is air bubble is adjusted to the center with the help of rotating wheels provided. Due to air bubble adjustment, center of gravity gets adjusted to the center and the balance becomes stable. That wraps up our session on interview question. Editors to 